On this edition of Independent Sources, a firefight. Why veteran black firefighters in New York remain skeptical about change six years after a major court ruling. Lost in translation, helping Asian women who are victims of abuse find their voice. And the boxer and the baker, a Polish businessman who's amassed a star-studded clientele and built a global brand in two different businesses. From us, we profile a Polish businessman who was voted 2013's Men of the Year by the Polaski Association of Business and Professional Men, an organization that promotes business owners of Polish American heritage. We hear more about how he earned that title in this report from Zach Lebron. This is first part of the, you know, operation. Mariusz Kowoje is a businessman with interest in many different ventures, including bread making. We produce roughly about 350 different items every day. We deliver three to four times a day to the specific location. And boxing promoting. Global boxing promotion as a company got started about in 2010. So this is our third year in operation. Hudson Bread, on the other hand, was established nearly 20 years ago, in 1994, soon after Kowoje arrived in the U.S. You know, I came educated from Poland, so it was easier, a little bit easier than, than for most people. I started with the real estate, then I went to the food business. A business that's been booming. His bread company caters to stars like Arnold Schwarzenegger and will also provide eats for VIP parties when New York City hosts the 2014 Super Bowl. Kowoje is a graduate of the Polish Naval Academy and tends to be very involved in the everyday running of the business. He built and now runs just about every aspect of the state-of-the-art bakery. I'm sending the inventory from the top, from the office. Let's say I need a thousand pounds of the health bread. What they get downstairs is a thousand bread of the <coughs> health recipe. So they press 1,000, enter, and that's what they know. And that's it, wow. The bakery's success has allowed Kowoje the opportunity to indulge in one of his favorite pastimes, boxing. Boxing is my hobby. It's not a business per se. That's just Kowoji underselling the fact that he runs a world-class boxing gym right next to his bakery. That's Kowoji standing behind his boxer Mariusz Vak as he prepares to fight Vladimir Klitschko for the heavyweight championship of the world. So that was one of the biggest fights. The rest of the guys we're basically building up. We have a Patrick Majewski. He's uh, rated in, in two different um, federations. We have the Kamil Wasik. He's rated in WBO as an intercontinental champion. The rest of the guys, basically, they're on the level when they're getting ready to do the big step. Kowoje was once a competitive martial artist himself, so he's very particular about the people he picks as fighters. He wants his boxers to be thinkers as well as role models. They have to stay in school. Without that, we don't take that. I don't want a situation where, for example, something happened to, to the guy. He cannot be a boxer. He's 30 years old. He doesn't know nothing. You know what, uh, be honest, if, if not Marius, if not Global Boxing, I'll be probably not boxing anymore. Now, Patrick Majewski is one of Global Boxing's emerging talents. We caught up with him just a few days after his win against the middleweight, Jamal Davis. All the boxing specialists and uh, journalists, they, 90 percent of them, they didn't give me any chance and then this guy. But uh, I, I believe the success is the effect of preparation and we did prepare really good for this fight. We trained re really hard. Kowoje is hoping to duplicate Majewski's success with a female fighter, Agata Kleha, who at the time of this interview was training for her first Golden Gloves fight. Actually, I started uh, doing Muay Thai three years ago. I had uh, only one fight in kickboxing, but I'm a big fan of UFC, mixed martial arts. That's why I started doing boxing. There's a lot of women that are really great in this sport, especially in uh, mixed martial arts too. I think it's, it's, it's boxing is growing. On the contrary, though the sport of mixed martial arts may have a growing fan base because of headliners like Ronda Rousey, boxing in the U.S. is actually waning in popularity. Boxing or MMA. Kowoje says that an injection of new blood 
at the higher levels of boxing promotion could invigorate the male and female divisions of that sport, just as it did with mixed martial arts. It's a completely brand new crew. And you see how they're exploding everything, and, and that's why actually MMA is getting more popular. They're going to the different crowds, they're hitting different fans, that's why the business is growing for them. Kowoje intends on growing his boxing promotion in Europe. He's got plans to build four gyms in Poland, where he'll recruit more boxers like Agata Kleha and Patrick Majewski. He also hopes to start a national competition in Poland, where the winner will get a free ride to come to train in the U.S. Zyphus Lebrun, Independent Sources. That's our show this week. Thanks for staying tuned. Till next time, be independent-minded.